Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reacting to Bilber jokes that are too hot for TV. This is definitely a guy who is not afraid to speak his mind. So do not forget to leave a like if you have the content, comment or just next and subscribe to the channel for more content. I've already seen some of his content and man, he's one of the best that I've seen in within the English speaking world. I'd love to adopt. It's a great thing to do. But if I do it, I'm not telling any of my friends. I'm just going to show up with the kid one day <laughs> just to piss him off, right? Mine just turned six. Mine just turned seven. I'd love to just show up with an eight-year-old like Domino's. <laughs> yeah. Now I get to tell you what you don't understand. I should adopt. I think it's a great thing to do. And I already know what I want to get. I want to get like an 07, 08. <laughs> <laughs> Always garage. Good dentition. You know what I would love to do? I'd love to rescue some kid that works in a sweatshop. Wouldn't that be amazing? Like, find the kid that made this shirt. Yeah, dude. You show up at the factory like, hey, oh, hey, let me bring it in. This is crazy. Hey, you maniac, Damn. how you doing? You going back to the States. L-shaped couch, flat screen TV, get in the car. The rest you keep going. But you, it's coming yeah, over with me. Yeah. So that was like a thing for like half a second. Sean Connery died. The great Sean Connery. Yeah, Who my favorite he? James Bond of all time. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's and James he was Bond. getting a proper send off for about eight minutes on Twitter. And then the first hairy leg white chick shows up, right? <laughs> hairy leg white chick. She's just got to be like, yeah, yeah. Are we really going to celebrate this man who advocated the hitting of women? It's like, first of all, he didn't advocate hitting women, okay? He just said, you know, every once in a while, you give him a little slap. Hey, okay. Yeah, give him a little back of the hand. You know. Remind him who's making the box office. You know. Where he set their hard drive. Okay. That's all he said, okay? Yes, it's a crazy statement in 2021. 1976, you know, it's not good. But it's not crazy. <laughs> yeah, for 1976. Right? Yeah. Today, that's not a homophobic uh, thing either, that I wouldn't send my hypothetical son to drama class. I'd let my, my hypothetical daughter take a drama class, okay? My son can't fucking do any of that shit unless I'm not. sending him to one of those fame high schools where everybody's doing it, one of those creative schools, go to the cafeteria, everybody's like, God, it's cheese, what is it made of? Right? <laughs> like, then he can do all he wants. But there's no way I'm letting him do that at a public school Absolutely with those goddamn not. animals. They're going to bully get him the shit death. kicked out. I'm gonna come home with his underwear up his ass, and then I'm I have sure. to be the adult and go down to the prince and will be like, oh, there's some sort of top pool around here. I don't wanna do that. I wanna find the fucking eight year old. What is he, this tall? I wanna find the kid that did it to my kid, tip him upside down into some sand <laughs> or a puddle, anywhere where oxygen is gonna be an issue, right? And you just leave him there, right? And you wait till that one leg just starts shaking so you know he's down to his last breath. And then you turn him upside down, you upside right, you grab him by his throat, you just say something horrific. Damn. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to beat your mother to death with the family dog. <laughs> I have a superpower. Damn, hey, man. That's crazy, Bill. Oh, my God. Instead of doing all of that, why don't you teach your son to be strong? Don't let him go to drama school. Teach him to be strong, to stand, by him, stand up for himself. And you don't have to deal with any of that. And if you do, I'm going to, your mama, damn, brother. Superpower, what would it be? Ah, oh, that's a good one. You know what it would like? Death with the family dog. It'd have a superpower. What would it be? Okay. Ah, oh, that's a good one. You know what it would be? Mm -hmm. When I'm when I'm second in line to make a left, and the person doesn't pull up to get out in the intersection and make sure I make it, my superpower would be that I could mentally move them out into the intersection. And if they gave me the finger, I would slowly slide them into oncoming traffic. I, would, I wouldn't make them hit because that's an innocent person over there. It's but not I, a superpower. I, you, you I a would villain, scare man. them. I would you scare them. You're the first them. villain I had on my show. Everybody else's superpower is like, uh... This guy has some very dark thoughts. That's what I'm gonna say. Marvel characters. Your shit is like a villain. They're lying to you. They're, they're, everybody's pretending that they care. They don't. If you really listen to people, what they care about is what affects them. True. Nobody gives a shit about the eight-year-old who made this jacket. Do I? Do I write him and say thank you for sewing this together? <laughs> Absolutely. No. No, one of my fantasies okay. is I want to drive by like a woman's rally. 
and just say the most sexist shit I can think of. Just to watch them lose their minds. Oh my God. And I'll just drive by real slow and be like, yeah, why don't you get back in the kitchen where you belong? Oh man. <laughs> this guy. Just to look in the rear view mirror, watching them flip, <laughs> flipping out in the road, spinning around like Leatherface at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking nuts. Yeah, I grew up Yo. in a very like angry time. You know, like you were afraid of your dad. I did dad's too. Dad's dad. I talked about this shit before, but I'm. You know what's crazy? I did too. I'm not even that old. It's like what early 2000s. I was growing up in the early 2000s. And so, I, it's different though, because this is America. I'm talking about back home in Africa. So the way there is, the way we are raised back home in Africa, and the way American kids are raised, it's completely different. Back home, you're afraid of your dad, because if you do something wrong, he's gonna come and kick the shit out of you. Still working through it, so just bear with me. You just were fucking yeah. Like I love seeing kids nowadays loving their dad. Like dad, what's dad? We wanna go play, dad? Let's go ride bikes, dad, dad. Yeah, when I was a kid, I was like, Dad, Dad, fuck, Dad, <laughs> fuck! Same thing. Run! Open a window! Absolutely. Fuck! What did you see in that? Fucking lunatic, right? And not just my house. I love my parents, but it was just the time. Like, everybody was fucking crazy. Yep. You were afraid, and people could put their hands on you, and other people's dads could hit you, <laughs> and then you come home, yep. oh, what the fuck did you do? Yep. I'll fucking hit your first head. I'm just nuts. Teachers would grab you, dig their nails into your fucking yep. neck as you come home. Well, 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 she wouldn't have done that unless something happened, right? It was all of that shit. I was doing a gig in Dallas and some waitress wrote on a, like a piece of chalkboard. She yeah. goes, we like our beer the way we like our violence. Domestic. All right? Yeah. I got to tell you something. That's a great fucking joke. <laughs> there is zero fat on that you need every word of that joke you take one word out it doesn't work it's a perfect joke so whatever nobody gives a shit one person comes in they don't like it they ask the manager to take it down he's just like hey you know that's that's our sense of humor here you know have a beer go fuck yourself so that's what we're doing <laughs> so she takes a picture of it she puts it up on facebook and all of a sudden people start complaining some people are so crazy man you don't like it. You don't like the bar. Go somewhere else. You don't have to create a problem out of nowhere. I don't get people, man. And they fired the manager and the waitress. Wow. Because of that. Yeah. Unru like, I don't understand. Like, what do they think's going to happen if somebody reads that joke? Like, you're some guy who would never hit a woman, you know? <laughs> would never hit a woman. You can't hit women. You can't. You honestly cannot. You ever see how they fall? They fall like toddlers, <laughs> you know? It is Arkimo, yeah. I like Arkimo. It's 100% true fucking story. I was doing a private gig. Private gigs are the fucking worst. You do a public gig, anybody can show up. It broadens what you can talk about, right? Okay. You do a private gig, it's like yeah. everybody grew up on the same fucking streets. All your jokes gotta go right down fucking Main Street or you're bombing. So all you do is listen to the first comic to hear what's working and what isn't. You just listen to him as he's up there struggling, going, okay. Okay, so what if, if you are the first comic? What do you do then if you are the first comic? They like bread. Talk about bread. Get all the bread you can. Don't make fun of the troops. Stay away from the troops, right? So that's what we're doing, right? And uh, the host gets him going, and then he brings up the first act. Okay, she goes on stage. She's not really a comedian, more of a personality. She does her bullshit or whatever. And I'm standing there looking at my jokes, figuring out what I'm doing. She wraps it up. He goes on stage. She goes to get off. I'm thinking, okay, I'm next. I'm looking at my stuff. And she just walks right by me and just fucking, poo, just flicked me right in the head of my dick and kept walking. Like it was nothing. Just fucking pow. and just kept... I couldn't fucking believe it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, is this a friend of yours? Was she flirting with you? Was this a joke? None of the above. You know what it was? I swear to God, it was like a bully vibe. Like she was trying to get in my head. Like, there you go, you little red dick. Poof, follow that. And she just kept walking. Dude. Things like this make me so angry. Cause imagine if it was the opposite way. My first thought as I saw her walking away, I just wanted to punch her in the back of the head as hard as humanly possible. Like literally make her leave her shoes, you know? But the other side of my brain's like, oh no, dude, you can't do that. You can't do that. She's it's a, a woman. woman. And it's just yeah. spitball. Well, fucking boot her in the ass then. But she can do whatever she ass. wants. Can't hit her, dude. Can't hit her. It's a woman. Well, oh, fucking tell somebody. 
Tell somebody. You can. And all I'm thinking is like, dude, I'm a guy. You can't fucking tell anybody. Nobody gives a shit what happens to a guy. I'm going to walk up to another man and be like, excuse me, sir, but she just flicked me in my pee pee and I didn't like that one bit. No, sir, I didn't like that at all. No, I didn't. All the guys going to be like, dude, and she did that. You know what is crazy? And then you have all these uh, gym girls, you call them people, men who are working out. You look for one second towards them. You are on TikTok. And you, you cannot say anything, even if something like this happens to you. Yeah, to me, I would have taken my balls out too. Be like, hey, fucking <laughs> flick both of these fucking sports bars. So now I'm standing there. I'm waiting to go on stage. The dude's doing my intro. I'm trying to think about jokes about bread. And the, the tip of my dick is still stinging. This is the world I'm in. And right as he's going to bring me on, all of a sudden she came walking out. Because she was going to go back out to her fucking car. And that's when my brain started firing up again with some ideas. Started thinking shit that I had never thought before in my life. Going like, dude, there she is. There she is. Flick her in the box. <laughs> do it, man. Equal right. She did it to you. You do it back to her. It started making sense. Like, yeah, fuck that. Flick my dick. I'm going to flick your clit. That's right. I'll fucking hit the man in the boat. I'm going to drop down. Uppercut to the bush. Fuck this shit. Really, dude? You think I'm the kind of person who just can flick my dick and walk away like it ain't shit, right? And it was making sense till right when she got there. Finally, I just started thinking of all the sporting events I had watched. And I realized that the referee only sees the retaliation. He never yep. sees the first aggression. Yep. And then you, you have to go to the you yellow card, whatever the fuck you people do over here, right? You go to the penalty. Yep. It's always retaliation. The guy who taps you first doesn't count. Unless now maybe in football because you have the VAR. It helps sometimes. But even though you just retaliated you guys are both going to get some red cards and go out that was some crazy shit but yeah i'll point your video that was bilber is definitely someone with some very very dark thoughts but i, I like i like that comedy i got what he's saying i still don't get why that lady with the the tin who came to the uh, was it a bar or a cafe when they had the, the joke written on the, the tin and she had to post it on facebook and the, the the girl who was serving and her manager get fired both of them which is crazy just because of one joke you don't get it you don't get it you don't like it leave it go somewhere else you don't have to stay there but she had to be that lady all right guys open the content don't forget to leave a like if you're in the content comment on what you see next and subscribe to the channel for more content until next time i'm out of here